Hi guys, my name is Jody. Um, I'm here to give you a brief introduction to SubD extension for SketchUp. Um, if you've never done any subdivision modeling, uh, this will be a fun tool for you to try out. It gives you the ability to create much more organic looking shapes, especially like those that you see um, in upholstery, like this um, cute little chair here. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it and um, tell you a little bit about how this extension works. Just uh, it's it can be very involved, but um, most of the tools, as you can see, are fairly simple. So it's really just a matter of uh, practice. So um, I'm going to start out by um, just explaining how it works. And basically, what subdivision what subd does is it takes um, three lines and it uh, averages the distance between those lines. So as you can see, I've got this little um, sort of three-planed little chair here. And um, what SubD is going to do is it's going to take this bottom line, this middle line, and this um, back line over here, and it's going to average the distance between them and create a curve out of them by dividing the geometry. So um, everything that SubD does has to be within a group. So your um, geometry always has to be grouped. And basically what you do is you group your geometry like this, and then you hit the very first button here, which is a toggle button. So you toggle subdivision on. And what you'll see is it's created sort of um, a rough sort of curve here. And if you show your hidden geometry, you'll see that it's gone from being three individual planes to now being, um, I guess it's uh, 12 different planes. So, um, and basically what you can do is uh, you have these little buttons here, which um, increases the subdivisions of your lines and you can um, go all the way up and get pretty heavy with it. You do have to be careful because if you go too heavy with your geometry, things can really start to bog down your system, especially if you're running on any kind of an older machine. So um, that's the basics of how it works. And um, there are some little tricks that you can um, work on. Whoops, I've got this. Um, this little chair here. And what you see is I've added um, some additional lines in here. And now what it's going to do, instead of averaging from this line to this line to this line, it's going to average from this line to this line to this line. These three lines here across the back will also be averaged, but because they're in line with each other, they'll be um, straighter. So what you're going to see is this curve is going to, let's take it down to its basic geometry there. What you're going to see is this curve is now um, not quite as harsh as this curve was over here, because now we've got more lines that we're um, averaging between. Okay, And then um, to take it one step further, if instead of having those lines in the middle, we have them closer to the corners, when we subdivide this, we're going to get a tighter corner here and a straighter edge right there. And as you can see on this one over here, where I've moved these lines um, even closer, you can see that these are really close to the corner and not quite as close as those. You'll see that, um, let's drop it down again here. You'll see that these lines are averaged a lot closer than these lines. So your curve gets tighter. So that's the basics of how it works. You can obviously do this with um, solid geometry as well. So um, if you subdivide this, you're going to get kind of a, um, a funny sort of shape here. And we can smooth things out by going higher with our iterations, is what they call that. And then we make adjustments to it by um, adding in more lines to change the way the, ge the geometry is averaging. You can see now we've got a, a tighter curve here, where up here it was pretty loose, because now it's averaging smaller distances. So that's the basics. Um, we're going to get farther into this maybe in some of our other Tizit Tuesdays. Um, but if you like the ideas here, if you think this is something that might be useful with your modeling, definitely um, you can uh, reach out to me. My email address is jody at jbartistry design.com. Um, I'll put a link to the sub D extension in the Sketchcation warehouse and um, also to my tutoring sessions. So um, have a great day guys. Thanks.